because I have leprosy does not mean that I'm not Mashiach, that I'm not the son of Yahweh. Don't be angry. Relax. I have a mission. I'm carrying it. I'm carrying your sins. I'm carrying your sicknesses and your diseases. Mashiach was sent to carry leprosy, both physical and spiritual, in his own body, and transferred it from humanity to himself. He was explaining his appearance to the Israelites and to others in Israel who could not grasp the fact that if you are the Holy One of Israel, how come you look like the devil? Don't you dare get up here and talk about a Mashiach, the Holy One of Israel, and look like an animal. Not even an animal, because we can't identify you as an animal. See, I'm one of those weird preachers. Can we talk? Can we talk? I'm one of those, when the Bible says he literally could not be recognized as a man, I believe it. When it says he suffered more than any Holocaust survivor in World War II, I'm a literalist. I'm crazy. I believe it. But the version of Jesus that we've been sold doesn't match up. He either has a halo, or he had a, pedi a pedicure, <laughs> or a manicure, and he just got out of the shop. I mean, come on, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. He just got out of the shop. He just made an appointment with a kafwa. Is that what they call him? Kafwa? I mean, what, what are you selling me, man? What, what have we believed in? Whose report will we believe? Yahweh would never send the Moshiach to stand in front of us so ugly and deformed and call himself the Holy One of Israel. You with me, Daryl? So he said, Yeshua is trying to excuse his appearance. Read verse 27 with me. You'll love me for it. You'll embrace me for it. Read verse 27. Many lepers, he's saying, he's saying, Atención, mis hermanos, mis hermanos, en Israel en tiempo de Elisha mismo. <laughs> Meaning, I know I'm ugly, but it's for you. I love you, man. He was explaining his ugliness. Can I get a witness? They wanted to take him down from the, from the, from the, from the beamer. <laughs> He's saying, just because I'm an Israel, the Mashiach of Israel and I'm not clean, there have been many in Israel who were never clean. That didn't mean they didn't love Yahweh. That doesn't mean I'm not Mashiach. Matter of fact, it was a non-Israelite, Naaman, Naaman, who was cleansed while all the Israelites were cleansed. He's saying, look, I'm here to transfer your leprosy to myself. This is why I look the way I do. And don't say I can't be your savior. Don't say I can't be your Mashiach. Because even in the days of Elisha, there were many lepers and Yahweh chose not to cleanse them. Brethren, Yahweh has chosen not to cleanse me. Because I love you. And I'm here to carry that thing. I'm here to carry that thing. And give you my health. And give you my wholeness. Oh yeah. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. He was explaining to them. In simple terms. His appearance. As an Israelite. Beyond formation. To others. In Israel. Does everybody see that? They're saying, you can't be the Holy One. You can't be the Kadosh One. Look at you. How can you bring us wholeness and victory and healing when you yourself are sick? And what do they cry out? They interrupted his message. You think I'm the only one that gets weird looks when I preach? You guys take it easy on me, more or less. You should see what he has. Hey, physician, not interested. <laughs> Heal yourself and come back. That's what that was all about. Don't tell us about it. You heal yourself. Now why would they tell him to heal himself if he was perfectly enamored? It was a visible condition. Luke 17, 11. And it came to pass, as he went to Yerushalayim, that he passed through the midst of Shomron in Galil. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers who stood far off. They lifted up their voices and said, Yeshua, 
master, have rachamim on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, good. Go show yourselves to the Kohanim. And it came to pass that as they went to the Kohanim, they were what? They were cleansed. And one of them, I said one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice and esteemed Yahweh and fell down on his face at Yeshua's feet giving him Hodu. And he was a Shomronite or an Ephraimite, the capital being Shomron, Samaria. He was from the ten tribes of non-Jewish Israel. He was an Israelite, but he was not Jewish. All Jews are Israelite, but not all Israelites are Jews. Yeshua answered and said, Were there not ten that were cleansed? A type of the ten tribes of Israel. But where are the nine who separated? They are not found anyone except the one, this one who has returned to give Tiferet to Yahweh except this stranger from Jewish Israel. So even today, men do not thank and acknowledge the fact that Yeshua became a leper scholar for us. In the Messianic movement, we have no problem. Oh yes, brother, I don't go to church anymore, Althea. I don't, Althea, you know, we don't go to church anymore, Althea. Why? Because they don't teach the, the Torah, right? Right? So everyone in this room says, we're comfortable with the fact that Yeshua taught the Torah. We're all comfortable with that. We're not comfortable with the other part, the leper scholar. We all acknowledge him as a Torah scholar, don't we not? Who kept and obeyed and taught the Torah. But it's the leprosy part that we're uncomfortable with. And because he was the leper scholar, out of the ten men who were cleansed, only one returned to him. Why did only one and return and nine not return? Does anyone know? I'll tell you why. I'm glad you asked. Because even today, as in those days, Men could not acknowledge the fact that a man who had physical leprosy could be a, clean, a cleanser or a Mashiach or the Holy One of Israel. And they thought it was a demonic doctrine and they thought that the devil had healed them and they thought that the enemy had done this work and they refused to return to Yahweh to give Yahweh Hodu. Thank Yahweh. But don't look at me like that. We're friends, man. One came back. He recognized no man can do this unless he was sent by Yahweh. For since the beginning of time, it is unheard that a man should open the eyes of the blind and cleanse leprosy. It's unheard of since the beginning of the world. You are the Mashiach. And he came back and gave Hodu to Yeshua Yahweh. What happened to the other nine? Yeshua said, there were ten who were cleansed. What happened to the nine? I'll tell you what happened to the nine. Religion won't tell you, but I'll tell you. They had a problem with the weapon scholar. They didn't have a problem with the scholar. They had a problem with the leper scholar. They got healed, but they were frightened by his appearance. And they refused to come back to give him praise. But I don't want to deny him. If that's the way he looked, if that's the way he chose to carry my sins and my diseases, blessed, blessed is he who is not offended by me. Now I understand. Now I understand what Yahshua meant. What would be offensive about raising the dead, healing the blind? Come on, bring it on, man. They don't offend me. Bring it on. But he said no. So even though I'm doing these works of Yahweh, some of you are still offended because of the way I look. Hmm? Hmm. Even today, men do not think and acknowledge Yeshua for becoming a leper for us. Many continue to think it is a demonic doctrine. I had one lady say to me, this is enough. You know, she was insinuating, I can deal with the true name of Yahweh, and I can deal with the two houses, and I can deal with the whole wheat unleavened bread, but this is it. Take me off your list. 